Well, hey guys, I am excited for this video and I hope you are too. Um, I have not seen any videos like this on YouTube yet for this line of Bibles. I released one for uh, Skyler. I, I, I compared the PSQ, the Quintel, and the Wide Margin Quintel. And that's what we have here with Cambridge. Now, this Bible was released um, about a week ago. It is May, I'm sorry, it is April 20th. The first line was released uh, via Evangelical Bible um, about a week ago. And then more were released uh, yes, uh, two days ago on Monday, the 18th. And I just got this one in today. And the Bible I'm talking about is the Cambridge ESV Diadem in calfskin leather. Now, this Bible has been long awaited in the Bible community and the Cambridge community. You know, for, for, for decades, decades, I, I, I tell you decades, the Pitt Minion and the Wide Margin were the only matching Cambridge Bibles. And what I mean by matching is, as I'll, I'll get into this in a, in a few minutes, but the text layout here matches the text layout here and vice versa. And so there was only the mini-sized and the large-sized. What Cambridge has done is they have released a mid-sized Bible. And I might say that this is because of Schuyler and, and what Schuyler has been doing. You know, Schuyler has be become a very prominent Bible um, pr producing company, a Bible line over the past few years. And they've got the PSQ, they've got the Quintel and the wide margin. And so here we see Cambridge doing the same exact thing. And so my goal with this video is to compare all three Bibles and to explain in my own personal opinion why a pastor or a minister would benefit in having all three. All right? So we're going to go ahead and get into the, the Pit Minion here. We'll start with the Pit Minion. Now I've got the Pit Minion in, in brown calf split leather. This is the cheapest Pit Minion, pit minion you can buy for about 100 bucks, I believe, in the brown calf split. And you'll notice the grain is very uh, pebbly. I love the grain on this. It's very textured. You've got the Spine Holy Bible English Standard Version with five etched hubs and in the back. Now, this Bible is a paste down liner. You can see I've had this Bible for about three years now. It's taken some wear and tear. Um, the, the text block is beautiful. It's got the double column paragraph format with your reference suite down here in the center with two brown cheap ribbons. Um, they're going to fray over time. They're not, they're not very well built. Um, this is a red letter text. Let's get to the Gospels. There we are in Luke, a red letter text, a bright red, I might add. And then you've got a decent sized concordance in the back here with your um, Bible maps. So this is the mini version. Now the beauty of this Bible, I'll compare it now with the diadem, is the diadem is just a step up in size. Now this pit minion is hand sized. Here, let me grab a pen, a pen for you. So here's a Pigma Micron pen and you can tell how it, it's very close in height to the size of this Bible. This Bible is very small. It's the size of my hand. It's very thin as well, about an inch thin. The diadem, however, comparing the two is not too much bigger. It's still within that portable small range. Um, there they are combined. Some would say that this Bible is the perfect size. Um, generally, a Bible that's perfect size is anywhere from nine inches tall and six inches wide. I think this is like eight and a half by five and a half. Don't, don't uh, quote me on that, but it's, it's a really decent size. Um, it's, it's almost perfect. And there's my hand right there. There's the Pigma Micron compared to it. So this Bible is very, very portable. And it almost, it's probably about an inch and a quarter thick. And so here you have the pit minion and the diadem. And what I want to show you is, of course, the, the, the materials are different. This is calfskin, kind of like a Mariva calfskin. This is a uh, calf split. Now, I do have some goatskin additions in this Bible, not with me. But what you'll notice, we'll go, to, uh, we'll go to Psalm 18 here, okay? Psalm 18 in the pit minion. We'll go to Psalm 18 in the diadem as well. 
Okay, so here we are in the diadem. Psalm 18, page one, uh, 443. Psalm 18 is on the right-hand side of the page. I'm sorry, the right page. Left-hand side of the right page, about halfway down. And you'll notice the same here. 443, right page, left-hand side of the page, halfway down. And there is the beauty of the Cambridge pit minion and the diadem. Now, this has the same exact layout. Every single page in this Bible is the same in this Bible. And so what I love doing is I love putting little, uh, little notes here. You'll notice I have a note next to Psalm, 20, at Psalm 18, verse 7. Psalm 18, verse 7. And what that little note means is it's a messianic um, prophetic verse. And I have it in the cloud because it's, it, it refers to Jesus' second coming. And so what I like about this is I can have these two Bibles and any given day, if I have the pit minion or if I have the diadem, they are the same exact Bible with my same exact symbols in the same exact spot. And so it's just a size difference. I'm, I'm used to where the, the passages are. I'm used to where my symbols and notes are. It doesn't mess me up. And so you might ask, well, why do you, why do you need both of these? Well, again, before the diadem came out, the Pitt Minion was the only other Bible aside from the wide margin that, that paralleled the same text block. And so the Pitt Minion has been a, a great travel Bible. This is, if you're looking for a Bible to travel with, um, and you love the ESV or the NASB or the NKJV or even the NIV, the Pitt Minion is a great Bible. The issue for some people is the text. It's very, very small. If you're not nearsighted, it's very hard to read. And that probably represents 50% of the Christians who read this Bible. It's very small. It's unusable, unreadable. For me, I love it. But for, for most, not for most, but for a good, a good portion of, of Christians who have Cambridge, it's too small. And so there's been a cry in the Cambridge community, can you make a pit minion, but, but a little bit bigger? And that's what we have with the diadem. The diadem has bigger font. It's got black, bold font. And it is the same Bible as the Pit Minion, just a little bit bigger, but still very small and very portable, almost the perfect size, one would say. Um, now, with the diadem, you get three ribbons. Same kind of quality of ribbons. They're just three, and they're red. You will notice that there's more of an, there's, there's an art gilding underneath the gold on this Bible. Now, this Bible had gold, but there was no art gilding underneath the gold. There was no red under gold or anything like that. Um, where this Bible differs is in the concordance. So the concordance in the, in the diadem is a three-column format. The concordance in the pit minion is a two-column format. And I would, I would venture to say that the diadem has a more extensive concordance than the pit minion. But nonetheless, they both have concordances. And of course, they both have maps and map indexes in the back. For those who enjoy that sort of thing. Now, again, I want to kind of highlight a few more things between these two Bibles. The size is wonderful. The differences is, are wonderful as far as the material. I would, I, I, I'm going to switch to a goatskin pit minion down the road, um, but right now I'm, I'm sticking with the calf split until it falls apart on me. But I love the calf skin on the diadem. I do hope that eventually they release a goat skin. But this almost feels goat skin like. I mean, it, it really does. It's very soft. But it'd be cool to release a goat skin. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and pull out the Cambridge wide margin. Now, you'll notice the size differences in the Cambridge wide margin and the pit minion. This has more of a square. Uh, layout where this is more of a you know vertical uh, rectangle now the diadem has more of that square feature it is not fully a square like the wide margin but it is more squared and then there they are right there compared to one another so you will see that the, the, the wide margin is still quite a bit bigger um, thickness wise the diadem is probably about a quarter of an inch thinner than the wide margin and you will also notice 
a different texture. You've got the pebbly goat skin here, which I love, and the smoother, buttery soft calf skin. Now, aside from the, the texture and the, and the look of the goat skin, these Bibles are almost identical as far as the, the setting. You've got Holy Bible here in the center, Holy Bible here in the center. You've got your spine, English Standard Version, Cambridge, same deal here. The only difference is the wide margin addition is added. Um, so that's, that's kind of the differences on the outside. Now, opening them up is where, again, it, it becomes wonderful. Let's open up again to Psalm 18 in the diadem. And we'll open up to Psalm 18 in the wide margin. I will mention that both of these Bibles that were printed and bound in the Netherlands by Royal Youngblood, and they both have French paper, so they, they're very they're top quality in their respects. And here we are again, guys. You've got Psalm 18, page 443, same as the pit minion, same as the diadem. The difference is that you've got wide margins in this Bible. And for those you know, preachers, teachers, pastors, um, any leader who prepares study notes and, and Bible teachings, there's a lot of benefits in having a wide margin Bible. I just, I mean, Psalm 23 is littered with notes and my own commentary. Um, so that's the benefit of having a wide margin. Now, one thing you'll notice, guys, is if you look at both Bibles, the text block here is about the same size as it is here. It's like they've taken this, 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 this layout, this text size, and brought it into its own Bible and gotten rid of the, of the wide margins, which has been the desire in the Cambridge community for a while. I've heard many people on videos say, why can't we have a Bible the size of this text right here? Because that's the perfect size right there. That's the perfect size text. Why can't we have a Bible like that? without the wide margins. Now, the wide margins are great for their own purposes, but this Bible is kind of, kind of hefty to carry around. It does, it, it does fold up like that. Um, it's very flexible. So it is portable in that sense, but otherwise it's very, very uh, heavy and, and, and thick and big. And so the, the call for Cambridge is, how about you create a Bible with a text size, that, you know, a Bible this size? And they did it, guys. They did it with the diadem, and I couldn't be more happy. Now, when you look at this Bible, the, the wide margin, there's some additions that, that aren't in these two, the diadem or the pit minion. Of course, you've got the concordance. But then the benefit of the wide margin here is you've got a alphabeticalized index that you can create. So starting from A all the way to Z, you can put little notes. So I, I didn't do this the way I was supposed to, but under A, I have salvation. I, I really should have put salvation under S, of course. But uh, let's see if I, if, did I, did I ever do it right? I really didn't, did I? Nope, none of the letters match up with what I have. That's a, that's a shame, but still cool nonetheless. And then you've got about 30 pages of double column lined notebook paper. And this is amazing for wide margins, good for journaling and so on and so forth. I really wish Cambridge would have put at least four or five lined pages of notebook paper in the back here. Not so much the pit minion, but they could have, would have been cool. But that is that guys. So you're gonna have the lined notebook paper in the wide margin. Now, overall guys, if you are a, if you are a pastor, or a teacher, this the, these three Bibles right here. We're looking at we're, we're the Song of Solomon, Song of Solomon, Song of Solomon, all in the same spot. It's a must-have if you love Cambridge. If you've got a Pitt Minion or you've got a wide margin, I want to encourage you to pick up the other two because it is worth having all three. This Bible would be my everyday carry Bible right here. The, the Pitt Minion would be more so for you know, going to little meetings or lunch meetings. This is more of a throat, you know, a, a, a Bible that I toss around. It's cheaper. I don't care if it gets ripped up a little bit. Um, don't want it to, but if it does, it's not a huge deal. 
but this is a Bible that I can really use and abuse quite a lot. Um, and then of course, the wide margin would be a great Bible to keep in the office or your study to do notes. So guys, that is it. That's my comparison of the Cambridge Pit Minion, the Cambridge Diadem, and the wide margin. I will drop links in the description below to get all three of these Bibles. And I hope you guys have a blessed day.